Hello everyone, welcome to Shadow of Judgment. How are you doing today, my lovely, lovely peeps? We're going to see which sign is coming up first for anybody who's new to my channel. Shadow of Judgment is where I look at the nooks, the crannies, what's going on within the circle, outside the circle. All four corners for the week. What the... What... What, what's the date today? The 30th? Today's the 30th and then there's 31st. Okay, the 30th to the 5th, I think. This Friday to next Friday. That's what we're going with. Anyway, what sign are we looking at first? Fire signs. You have the Emperor. Look at you go. Let me read that down before I forget. <clears throat> because Lord knows I will. Emperor. Okay. Fire signs. Leo. Sag. Aries. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts, please. This may or may not resonate with you if it doesn't. No biggie, right? It's just a card game. After all, it won't work if you don't believe in it, right? Just poop yourself on the news and we'll get right to it, right? And if you do want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, Instagram, all in the description box below. Just hit me up there. Um, first one on the house, as always. Okay, fire signs. You, or Aries. Yeah, Aries. Actually, we are sorry with you, Aries. Your card actually came up. The Emperor. Did you go with your supremacy? Ah. Oh, dear. Okay. So, like, there's a door closed, but it's like you're possibly not running somewhere because, you know, it would be a betrayal to yourself. It could be with a marriage or a home or whatnot. Thank you, phone. Um... So, you're trying to look for calmer waters after this? Maybe you felt like you hurt yourself in a fucking commitment somewhere? And your lack of passionate movement is, like, really just... Megan, you have to make some choices I don't think you want to make entirely. Anything else, please? Let's see, are you... Hmm. Aries, okay. Oh, dear. Okay, look at it. So you got some shit on your brain, right? Obviously, for this week. Anyway, seems like a door has been closed. Either you did it, or a Gemini did it. Could be one or the other. Had something to do with love, marriage, all that shit, right? Oh, cross watchers, switch where you fucking need to, you know, fit your story where appropriate, right? Right. Um... But you kind of closed the door on something and decided to move to calmer waters, but like... It's like the offer was kind of shitty and, 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 that, and, and like you're going toward... It's better to go towards the door, but there is some... Tentative love. It was like a, a gesture or an expression of love right here that just, you know, was tantalizing. It's like there wasn't much money, but there was a, 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 just a little flame that might cause some passionate fire for you, right? However, there seems like there was a lack of movement with somebody, and someone did not go for that booty, but they did come to some sort of decision, and didn't take a leap of faith to become that queen of wands right there, if you're female, right? Or, someone just was too worried about, like, leaving their throne to go back to being a page with another page, right? It also seemed like they were just gonna hurt themselves, in the commitment, and it would take time to recover to get back to being this chick right here, right? I'm curious about this offer. Why is it so fucky? Why are you fucky, offer? I just wanna know. I need to go through and, like, clear my decks. For anyone who's curious, you can clear, um, the energy of your decks by just putting them back in order. Like, you know, put all the cup cards in order together. The wands the uh, Major Arcana, just put them back in their actual original order, like when you get them in a, like a fresh deck, like none of them's been cut, cut or shuffled, you do that, and like usually that helps clear the energy of them a little bit, and you get a little bit better clarity. 
Um, if they start sticking too much, just take some ash and put them in between the cards too and shuffle them around. And that helps with um, them getting shuffled better. Just a little like a FYI in case you were curious for any of you who want to start using cards. Which I would recommend because it's really cool. But at the same time, don't be surprised if you keep coming up with stuff about death. Because that's just, that's just how it works, you know. Sometimes if you got, like, you know, shamanic energy, I guess, like, that pops up a fucking lot. Anyway, this Ace of Pentacles, what's up with that? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't much happiness to be found. Someone seems like they had to give that shit up. Let that shit die. Hmm. Charge forward somewhere else. Cancer and Scorpio in order to happiness, Leo. Hmm. That's your shadow of Judge Marys. It seems like this offer, like, it'd be better to go to the door or else, like, you know, it's not going to bring, I don't know. Or there's a unhappiness that you're giving up, killing it off by moving forward. Like, death might be chasing you, but you're moving forward and you're going to get your happiness. Start fresh, I guess. Fresh and new like a clean little baby. Yeesh. All right, Leo. You're up next, my loves. Let's see what your shadow says. Hey, 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 Sorry, I had a doll in my head for a minute, but I can't remember what that song is or any of the lyrics because I don't listen to it enough. Anyway, let's see what's up with you, Leo. You are stuck in your fucking head, or somebody else's, one of the two, where you feel like you're trapped in something, and you're kind of juggling your options a little bit with the two of pentacles, right? You're trying to charge forward, though. You're trying to move forward, possibly dealing with a cancer. Mm. Either you're keeping that secret, or you're using your intuition to figure out that you're kind of that way. It's like... Hmm. I Oh, skipped one. Sorry. I'll get it next. Mm. I feel like you want to give in to something. Just a little bit, Leo. Mm. Okay, so Leo, your shadow right here is kind of... Yours was confusing last week, I think, too, wasn't it? I think I had an issue reading yours or some shit. But it's like... Lord, that's my hubby. Sounds like it. But it's kind of like, um... You're stuck in your head about something. But... With the high priest, it's just like you're not saying that, so it's kind of screwing things up. It makes somebody, rather than make an offer to start something new, want to walk away to start something fresh, it'll actually make them happy. It's like trying to move forward didn't work for them, so they're not giving into something. Um, they're not giving into this new start, they're giving into walking away from all this shit. Could also be an earth sign involved here. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, all them bitches. All them bitches, except really fire. So this could be somebody you're actually dealing with. You might be feeling like you're giving up on, like, this new start as well. It's like, you got options that you're not speaking about, but it's like when you're facing this, you're just not... You or your person is just not giving in to this new beginning. Someone's giving up and someone's just not making any sort of offer of value, I will say. So someone's leaving. That's kind of sad, but I don't know. I don't know if that's what you want or whatever. It's kind of like someone's just not speaking up about what's really bothering them. Um, someone did manifest this, though. And, well, yeah, they manifested closing the door. But it's like they're going to be upset about it. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an air sign somewhere. Um, someone's mad about how to... Someone's got a bad attitude about healing a broken heart. And that's just leading... What? Okay, and that just leads to conflict. Wow. 
What? Okay, hold on. What's with this conflict? I'll ask about that. What is the conflict? Someone isn't putting in their good effort. Once again, someone isn't offering anything, and if they do, it's just bullshit. It's like they don't offer anything other than funds, and even that isn't really all that great. Or someone's looking at you that way, Leo, and thinking that, like, it's not fair that you're, like, getting better. Or maybe you're all upset about how everything's coming up. It's it's like this person who doesn't offer very much. It's like they're surprised their mind games worked enough to make somebody walk away. Could be a Capricorn involved in all of this. There is a lot of pentacles. But it's like the person that's walking away is still bound to this person. Like, one way or another, like, it's the devil. It's just like, you know, you're you're literally bound to somebody. And you, you don't like the energy of being with them. But it's like you can't get rid of their freaking energy with the devil card. And, you know, and it's Capricorn. It's just like, yay, that's, that's wonderful, right? But, it, the, but that's what it feels like. So I'm not sure, Leo. It's a very interesting thing, but it's like... It's like someone's trying to get away from somebody who doesn't offer very much. Even in, like, material things as well. It's like they really don't offer anything at all, and yet, like... When they finally cause someone to walk away... It's like they get mad about it, and then they try to offer more bullshit, and then, like, their person just ends up walking away, but it's like... They, it's either they get, they know that they're bound to this person, Leo, or they go back to a Capricorn, I don't know. That's just what I'm getting right here. So that's your shadow. I'm sorry if that ending didn't make sense. It happens sometimes, but it's like, it, that's interesting and weird at the same time. I can't tell if, like, it's because they know that they're bound to each other, or if it's because, um, I don't know, maybe someone's going back to Capricorn, or they become bound to somebody else, one of the two. You know? Oh, uh, okay. So, let's see. Sagittarius, it's uh, your turn. Hey, there we go. That's how uh, that's how we roll, you know. Well, not we. I'm a Capricorn, but I got Sag rising, so I'm just as much to get thrown out of a community for my mouth as you are, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. Like Sagittarius is the explorer, and excommunication is just one of those things that come with the territory. That's normal. That just makes the adventure even more better sometimes. Let's see, Sagittarius, you have... Ah, yep. Well, you did have the tower to begin with. Ah, okay. So you're kind of... Somebody might be crying over spilt milk, or that could be you, but you need to get your cups, get on the get the fuck over it bridge, and go shopping for shoes at the mall. Or a kitty cat, one of the two. Um, there was some decisive action to um, just sit there and like mourn these and then move on. Or just not to worry about offering any sort of remorse in this whatsoever. Like, there's new love coming in, and the person who isn't offering shit, though, just is not... Is still looking at, like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Not a damn thing. <laughs> oh, you got two aces, man. Mm. I think the ace of pentacles is the false one. That's why it's reversed. Um, because you can't have two beginnings all at once. That'd be crazy. It all comes, like, in gradual effects. Like rippling waters. In water. Or whatever I'm trying to say. But you know what I'm, what, you know what I mean. Anyway. So what it seems like, it's like this person who didn't offer anything is on the outlook. And it's like, someone needs to make a choice because, like, they're rec but they recognize with this choice that this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning is shit. But we have this Ace of Cups right here, so it's just like, are they the same thing? But, like, this is becoming revealed 
Are they two separate things? But anyway, like that Ace of Cups is still there. But I'm kind of worried that might become the Three of Cups too. So, yep. Ooh, you mad. <laughs> you are upset. You might be impatient. You're waiting for your new cups to come in. But at the same time, you could also be looking at a third party who's trying to interject as well. You might be trying to move on with a new relationship or some shit like that this week. And someone might be trying to come in and interfere with that. Someone might be trying to interject themselves. This dude over here didn't offer anything. Um, all burden and shit and on the lookout being like, did they take it? Like, I know I didn't offer it, but did they take it, you know? Oh, they mad. <laughs> Everyone's just mad. This dude side-eyeing over here. You're not even trying to acknowledge this son of a bitch. Like, you know. Like, you're just like, uh-uh, I'm waiting for my cup. I don't know, it's like... You could be dealing with an Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, also Leo. A lot of motherfuckers on the board, actually. There is water on the board, too, but not by... Oh, God. Someone's... <laughs> Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Okay, so everybody's on the board. Everybody's here to party. That's awesome. That is great. Yep, everybody's on the board. Okay. Sagittarius. Your week is very interesting. You are just going on all sorts of fucking adventures. Right? So, it seems like you're kind of like sad over some spilt milk. Like, there might have been a third party involved, or someone just came over and, like, smacked your cup on the floor and then hit all the other cups, and now you're all out of something to drink. Like, you had some Kool-Aid, and now you're resorting to tap water, because you don't have one of those really cool filters that, like, get all the nastiness out of it or whatever. Um, or something. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. But it's like you you got two cups behind you and you can move on. But it's almost like you or the person you're dealing with is still waiting for those cups. And I think it's you. Like they're just waiting for that love cup. They want to be like, hey, someone's going to bring me a cup that's full. That way I don't have to carry these two cups on my own or some shit. But I think those cups are more symbolic, while this one you're actually waiting for love or an apology or some shit, and you're all impatient and stuff, and now you're all in your feelings, and you could definitely boil somebody's kid's pet out of spite, you know, like you're in the, like, fatal attraction Glenn Close kind of crazy, right? Uh, Queen of Cups, either that, this is a water sign, you're dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, just being all pissed off because you have your back turned to them and they're just like, I can't believe they're not coming to me and talking to me, uh, you know? Um, there was some dec decision that needed to be made, but like, so, but this offer was uh, really shitty. Why was it shitty? Because it was never offered to begin with. But now this person wants to, you know, notice what you're doing. But while they're doing that, they're, they like the offer they made was shitty because they're standing in emperor power. But unfortunately, like, they're kind of like a control freak too. Like expecting things a certain way. Like they're not even looking at you. They're just side-eyeing over here where it's the problem for them to be a burden. And you're just deciding not to acknowledge them at all. And you both are kind of in your feelings about that shit, right? And it's like, someone, this dude needs to come in and speak some truth. But I feel like that if he does, he's going to try to be cutthroat about it. And Sagittarius, I almost feel like with you, you're going to get in your emotions and you're going to yell probably a lot you're gonna release your cup like pandora's box right so let's see what what are you up okay let's just go with what this person's got to say with the king of swords right because i'm more curious about what it is they would say if they approached um like they gave up or some shit or something uh, gave up, wanted to look at other options, decided to go walking for better joy, but now they're heartbroken, and they think you're being mean, <laughs> they think you're mean, <laughs> oh god, okay, whatever, um, they think you're, they were mean, okay, right, we're continuing on with the story, because I think this is funny, like, it might not be funny in real life, but it's like, Jesus. Like, I don't know. I don't know why they think you're mean when they are the ones who didn't make an offer but are sitting here looking at you all side eye and shit because you aren't acknowledging them because they haven't given you shit to begin with. 
Like, both of these aces are over here, but this one never made it because the knight never fucking delivered it. But now I don't want to look over and see what's going on with you because they're all, like, in their own place and shit. So how are they going to look at you for being mean when they didn't do shit at all? Yeah, that shit don't fucking work. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, no, they're coming off as crazy with the Queen of Swords. Like, they're being all irrational about why it didn't work. But that, but it's not like that works either. And then they're all sour because they don't get a cup from me. Oh, Lord. Okay, these will be the last ones. And then we're done with the shadows, y'all. Um, no leap of faith being taken because you're good. You are good. And you're done feeling that way. You know, doesn't make you happy. And it just hangs you up where you don't want to be hung up. That's your shadow, Sagittarius. Fire signs, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to, you don't want to, but it would totally make me feel awesome. All right. Love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.